Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and I was gonna watch this during a uh, stream I was doing but I figured everybody wanted to, me to watch things they wanted me to watch so I said screw it. Um, so we are here to watch this because I want to watch it and I'm not streaming. So this is 7 Disappointing Collector's Editions you definitely want to re refund for from Outside Extra. I've never even heard of Outside Extra but shout outs. Um, but this is a video... That's interesting to me because I do like collector's editions and the thumbnail they're using is for a collector's edition I have. That's The Witcher 3 if you can't tell. Uh, I did an unboxing for that back when it came out. Um, I didn't realize how bad some of the paint is. I still have this statue. Should I get it? It's pretty heavy. All right, let me make room for it, I guess. Cause I'm not going to put it away until later. Yeah. All right, let me get it. It's behind me. You guys can't see. It's right, up, right where all that stuff is, but it's all the way to the... Over there, you can't see it because the bookcase is in the way. Let me go get it. <clears throat> All right, so here it is. Uh, the tail is g gone from the... This is a wyvern, right? I don't know. But uh, for the most part, the statue is pretty good. I mean, it, lo it looks really nice for the most part. But, uh, yeah, if you look deep into Geralt's face... Yeah, no, the paint job is not great. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks way worse than the picture they're showing. But, yeah, he has no eyes. He has no eyes. It pretty much looks exactly like that. Uh, I want to say, but because it's so blown out in this picture, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, from far away, it looks great. When you start looking up, yeah, it's not great. Um, but, hey, it's, this is actually a better statue than most statues I give you, so I don't know about this one exactly, but let's see what else they said, because I can't remember exactly what's in it. I know there was a collector's edition, like, book, um, um, the map, uh, uh Gwent cards, I believe. <clears throat> a bust of Yennefer. Actually, no, Triss. Triss is better. Everybody knows this. Triss is better. I don't care what you say. Anyway, if you if you disagree with me, don't disagree with me. Anyway, let's go. Three, two, one, play. Once upon a time, somebody realized that gamers time? would pay even more yeah, for a game if it came with some extra bits. Yes. And so the collector's edition oh, is dead, was born. The Dead Island Riptide one's going to be here. Filled with art books, steel books, and frequently a statue of some kind, these collector's editions vary in quality. Sometimes they... What is, what is that one? Frequently a statue of some kind. Oh, is that the, uh... It's a remaster. Uh, THQ remastered it. It's a good game. I think that's that game, maybe? I don't know. Collectors editions... Kingdom, no, not Kingdom Come. Uh, Kingdoms of Armor. Very in quality. Sometimes they include cool stuff, like Shadow of the Erd Tree, yeah, Statue of Mesmer the Impaler. Mesmer, yeah. Sometimes cool. they've got something so weird oh, you Oh, yeah, 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 the Limbo one. You want it in your home. So the huddle. Sadly, sometimes. Oh, that, oh my God! Yes, the fucking infinity eggs. They that was one hundred percent a lie. They showed it like they're gems. They're fucking eggs. They turn out more Bullshit. disappointing than a stick of. Oh yeah, that that one was really upsetting because it just it broke. It, it was broken. Cotton candy in the rain. Yeah, there goes so, the top one doesn't move. Buyer beware, basically, as we provide buyer beware. You're in for a scare. For which you definitely want to refund. Oh, this is the one with the flask. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the one with the flask. You'll see. Yeah. This one's, this one's the stupidest shit. When I heard this, I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You'll see. While many gaming collectibles are just there to oh, be looked okay. at, it's always fun when collector's editions come with something you can actually use. Plenty of COD fans got excited when the Call of Duty World at War Collector's Edition was revealed. Mm. Alongside a fancy tin to the tin's cool, yeah. store your game, the main physical collectible players would get... Oh, uh, what if, if, What made people go like, yeah, the fucking can, a can a canteen? Eight ounce brushed stainless steel Call of Duty branded canteen. This canteen etched with... It's a pretty... Cool, I guess. The game's it's, it's logo like a was the perfect size for a boozy hip flask or simply a great... Who got excited about that? Like, oh, you know one thing that makes me think of Call of Duty is booze. I mean, I guess a lot of people get drunk to play. I guess, help huh? players hydrate I'm during sure long true. gaming sessions. Hydrate, Or at least yeah. it would have been if you could actually open it. Well, no, I think you can open it, but isn't it, like, filled? Upon receiving their collector's editions, buyers discovered to their dismay that they could not get the cap off their flask. Okay. Rendering it... No, you can... I could have sworn you could, but it was just filled. It was like a hunk of... Like, you you picked it up and immediately you knew, oh, this is not hollow. Like, <laughs> Entirely I could have sworn. unusable. No 
no official reason was given. Maybe it wasn't filled. Maybe it was just like once you took the cap off, there was like a it was just covered. You know that I mean? stickers hastily added to the box and the plastic bag the canteen was wrapped up in for suggested that the lid was deliberately stuck by manufacturers to the top of the flask because you weren't supposed to drink from it. Maybe. Yeah, because it probably had some fucking chemical shit in it. If if it wasn't sealed over, I think it was sealed over though. The stainless steel. Like the the hole you drink from, you know, uh, you know, you do that. Um. I wasn't. Do- I was drinking some. I wasn't doing. Anything. Teen wasn't entirely yeah. stainless steel, or it hadn't been properly treated, and thus was unsafe for drinking from. So if you had forced the cap off to get a drink in there, Mountain Dew would have tasted worse than normal. I know, <laughs> hard to believe. Uh, it's like Instead it's of like a battery acid flask, already. players got a sealed hollow disc that didn't even come with a display stand, was so they could put it up somewhere, making this a disappointment. Well, you could probably. No, you're fucked. Pointing waste of money for thirsty players. <laughs> yeah. Canteen, more like can't teen. Boo! Don't boo me, I'm right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Hannibal Burris over here. This Such one, a gloomy subject. Well, think. I never, yeah, but like, to be fair, you're not looking at the eyes straight on, so it, it doesn't look that bad. The wyvern looks pretty good. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? I thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. Ooh, so why are we being romantic? <laughs> do you usually be romance? Do romance with your friends and benefits? As far as the ladies of the continent are concerned, Girl uh, sex, to Rivia is sex, an irresistible sexies. smoke show of a mutated monster hunter. Goddamn right. Geralt. I like in gooseberries, bro. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Girl to Rivia. <laughs> Hell yeah, like. Bro. So what greater betrayal than Geralt and his said? noble visage could there be than the Witcher 3? Uh, oh yeah, the medallion I still have somewhere. Uh, the steelbook I still have. The art book I'm pretty sure I still have. I think the only thing I don't have is the box. I got rid of the box because it just takes too much room up. I got rid of a lot of my boxes. Because like, I looked and it's just like, I'm not going to sell any of these. And also the boxes themselves aren't like rare or anything. Yeah. Wild Hunt Collector's Edition, which came with all the mandatory collector's edition bits. Your steelbook and your art book and your game manual book, along with a replica wolf medallion and this hefty chunk of a collectible statue. That looks pretty good, you're thinking. Yeah, I don't know where the fucking tail from my went. I could see Yennefer of Vengerberg wanting to make out with that. And then you beheld the terrible reality. The shoddy paint job on the statue in real life versus the fancy picture on the promotional material made Geralt look like a pasty Play-Doh golem with his eyes... Yeah, his eyes are... gouged out. Yeah, his gouged out, yeah. why is there red paint in the sockets? Yeah, well, because his eyes got gouged out you just said the quality of other witcher statues. that that was a that was a that was the that was the one of the dlcs when he had his eyes gouged out and he has to kill a wyvern with finer paint jobs like the one of Geralt and his fabulous gold Toussaint armor with i don't have that one i have uh the regular dark horse ones his trademark good. yellow witcher eyes intact proves that Geralt's handsome likeness definitely can be captured it just wasn't the appearance of the collector's edition statue paint job is worse under the bright, unforgiving light of flash photography, which, to be fair, doesn't do any of us any favors. Really want to see an angry Witcher? Do you? I want to see me gouge my, my own eyes. Oh. Damn, I look old. In any <laughs> case, the collector's edition statue was less a collector's item and more a hunk of pre-landfill plastic that did Geralt of Rivia dirtier than Love three Geralt. rounds of mud wrestling with a water hag. Or Gerald, as that one guy said during the Netflix. Weak, weak thing to have recently. Maybe she was the one who gouged his eyes out. <laughs> I knew this was going to be here. I mean, to be fair, visually, everything's fine except that bag. Also, if you get the GameStop edition, I think it was a GameStop exclusive version. I mean, she'll, she'll probably talk about that. You gotta talk about that. Come Let's on, gotta talk about that. Games, it's gotta have my pops. Easy to get over encumbered. Look, I much. need all the desk fans I picked up, I know and that. I don't need to explain why. In the spirit of Fallout fans wanting to carry a large quantity of items with them at all times, Bethesda added a bag to their special power armor edition of Fallout 76. Bullshit. This special collector's edition of the game I can't believe came with a this. wearable power armor helmet. What, like they, they made the fucking power armor helmet and it's fine. Why couldn't they have just made the fucking nylon bag, bro? And the bag was a rather lush looking heavy duty canvas duffel. Oh, canvas, sorry. They did nylon. <laughs> that was the problem. 
mean, to be fair, that in this picture, it looks kind of shitty. It doesn't look great. Th in this picture, it looks way better, right? And I'm not losing it, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know it came with, like, little figures and stuff. Right? Oh, it came with those little figures, like, uh, toy soldier things. That's fun. Oh, Ta-da! Yeah, the desk crowns I could get in that. Sadly, when the game finally arrived... What did you just say? ...and the Power Armor editions were shipped, the bags were not as advertised. Even though players had dropped 200 entire dollars on... Nylon trash and stuff, yeah. ...this collector's edition... Oh, yeah, then they give you $5... Who was it that said this? I think I think it was an Angry Joe's review where they said they give you five dollars of in-game credit, which doesn't even give you enough to buy the bag in-game because you can buy a game that I mean a bag that looks like the bag you got you're supposed to get physically. You can get it digitally and it won't even give you enough to buy the fucking bag in the. Hoping for a lovely new military style duffel. Bag. I would have been way worse though if it was like, all right, we didn't give you the bag in real life. But how about it, it, in the shit game nobody likes? Bag to store their helm or their desk fans, they instead got a cheap, shiny, thin <sighs> nylon monstrosity. Uh, to put it this way, you can hear it just by looking yeah. at a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Customers were real mad. and That shit, that, that's the shit you get for three bucks on Timu or pick whatever bootleg site. Understandably so, especially after Bethesda's store's customer service teams sent curt replies to unhappy customers that the bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. As a response, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> to try and calm things down, Bethesda offered Go fuck yourself, San Diego. Our Armor Edition purchases five whole dollars worth of free in-game currency. Let's go! NBA atoms and change the description of the bag on the Bethesda store to nylon. For Piece of shit. This shows up. Looks, this did not calm things down. Unsurprising. Should give at least a like a twenty dollar refund. At, le at the very least, because that's a big part of it, was the bag. To everyone except at the biggest part, I assume, was the power armor hel he uh, head head helmet. There Bethesda, go. people got even more pissed. Actually, they should give a refund the whole thing, because the game fucking sucks. The bag was one of the two main items in this expensive yeah. physical edition. At least 20 bucks. At least. Because I think the power... The helmet itself would sell for like 80, 90 bucks. Probably even more alone. And the image Most on their likely. store, alongside every other store stocking it, was still of the original prototype canvas bag. Mm -hmm. Heck, PC gamer's Chris Livingston pointed out that the in-game currency you. offered wasn't even enough to buy a canvas bag in the actual damn yeah, game. Yeah, that wasn't the same one. After yeah. even more public uproar and some consumers actually reaching out to various advertising standards agencies, eventually Bethesda relented. It took a lot of complaining and some forms to go. fill out, but Bethesda finally made and sent out the final Don't blame the courier. I'm assuming this thing is probably really expensive to get now, right? You know, like if you want to buy it on eBay or some shit. It was only given to the people that really gave a shit enough seven months later and filled out a fucking form and shit, I'm assuming. Unless they sell it, they might sell it on their website, actually, think about it. They might. Months after it was oh my god, look how shitty that one on the right is. <laughs> so bad. Oh. He, were, he's free, really? he refunded the game and stuff? That means he refunded the collector's decision? And now, Power Armor... I didn't know you could refund collector's edition. I guess you could. I don't know. Edition Just return it. I don't think I've ever seen a returned collector's edition in my life. Like, I've seen used ones, meaning they traded it in, I guess. Well, maybe they, they could have been returned ones, I guess. Think about it. Customers are the proud owners Never of a mind. bag that will constantly remind them of that time they got ripped off and had to spend months moaning and doing admin until they got what they actually paid for. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have just asked for my money back. Yeah, exactly. Especially since the game sucks. Oh, Avengers? This is Avengers? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna guess it was Avengers. It could be a... I can't think of another Marvel... All right, all right. Space. Oh, yeah. They're... they're, they're, they're. Mind, the soul. Reality. Power. A new universe shall be forged. Heroes of both dimensions. Welcome to ours. Welcome to <laughs> die. Isn't the only company that got called out for using promo pictures of their collector's edition that looked misleadingly better than the final product. When Capcom revealed the Marvel vs. Capcom... I will say the statues, or not statues, the figures or whatever, are fine. They're fine little, like, almost, uh, what's that one company? Um, what's the ones that make, like, uh... Forty dollar statues, kind of. I have a. 
Shit, I don't have any near me. Uh, fuck, what are they called? Um, fuck, I forgot the brand. They're over there. I don't want to get up. I'll get up. Wait, I'm not pausing it. All right. Okay. No one make fun of me because I'm fat. All right, let me see. I'll pick this one. Ow! I had to pick up the one statue that has spiky fucking hair. Of course, they don't say what the fuck they are on them. How about Isaac? Help me. I got Isaac Clark here. You want to see my Isaac Clark? These ones. Uh, it doesn't say. Fuck. They, they're like that. Anyway, I still have the Chun-Li one. So, I got rid of all the other ones. I was just like, I don't have room for these. I mean, they, they're fine. The Chun-Li one was the only one I kept just because, you know, fucking Chun-Li. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, also, it was just, like probably the best one of the four. Because the yeah, Iron Man, Mega Man... Mega Man was probably the best one I actually thinking about, but I already had like four Mega Man figures, so I was like, alright, I'll get rid of this one. It takes too much room. Uh, and... Cap Marvel. From Infinite Collector's Edition fans. You'll see. I don't, I don't know why I fucking did that. Pumped. Not only were there four statues <clears throat> of Mega yeah. Man, Chun Li, Captain Marvel. Oh, they look way better in those pictures for sure. Especially that Chun Li. I already tell you, looks better in the actual figure. Well, and Iron Man. Dude, that is one hundred percent a fucking lie, just like the Fallout one. Did did Marvel's Cap did did Capcom get fucking like? Was did something happen with this? There should have been like some. That's 100% false advertising. How the fuck you could call them a replica when they look like eggs? The Infinity Eggs, of course. Everybody fucking knows them. And also, fancy light-up models <sighs> of these six Infinity Stones complete in a presentation box. Look, they look pretty cool there. See those inclusions and fractures that glow, making them look like the actual... Yeah, and also they look like they have, like, ridges and stuff a little bit. Like, like slight ridges that... Stones? Well, that's the last time you'll see those. Yeah. When the final product glow of eggs arrived, the mystically powerful Infinity Stones looked like well, eggs. Easter eggs. Really. Specialist review site MarvelToyNews.com described the included Infinity Stones as quote cheap, clear plastic, bumpy half ovals that are permanently affixed inside of their box. And yeah, exactly. It, it, it's like the worst presentation piece ever. It, I got rid of those immediately, and, and someone bought like. I remember GameStop was getting rid of these collector's editions for super cheap, so I bought like two of them, knowing that I'd be able to just sell them or whatever and keep one. I could sell one, keep one, and then like make up the money that I spent on one by selling the other one, you know what I mean? So I could keep it for free. Um, and I did, and, and and someone immediately bought the stone thing. I'm like, why the fuck would you ever buy these? There's dog shit. With a weird strobe function. It seems the LED effects of the replica stones have somewhat been oversold, and rather than no. cool space stones, they look like eggs. Shit. They look like eggs. Glowing yeah. eggs. Uh, Even yeah. the character statues couldn't redeem the collector's yeah. edition, and the crappy egg stones left people upset and full of regret. To be fair, like, I wouldn't want those in my house anyway. Like, in my collection, like, a little, like, box with some glowing stones i don't think it's a great showpiece honestly i'm not, i'm gonna say it right here like if they were if they you could take them out and they could still glow then sure but even that i'm like what, what the fuck am i gonna do just have them on the i'd rather have a statue is what Tony i'm trying to Capcom say had so. accurately recreated the time stone it could have gone back and prevented this whole mess oh wait really oh because you because you can't wear it okay sure i think it's a cool looking visor i mean it's a really cool uh helmet I got rid of mine recently just because I didn't have the room for it. That's the only reason why I got rid of it. Uh, and I felt bad getting rid of it. But I was just like, I really, literally had nowhere to put it. I had no shelf space for it. Like, the shelf space I had wouldn't fit it. So I was just like, fuck, I have nowhere to put this. I gotta get rid of it. But we've... So, it's, one of the amazing ad. In terms of ten legendary game ad, characters, Master Chief is chief among them. He's instantly recognizable with his iconic green armor and general badass. Too bad what they did with that fucking chief in the fucking show. Sorry. Wait, I think general badassery might be in a different Space Army game. With mm. Chief's iconic yeah, he's a metal slug. status, it's no wonder that when Microsoft it's not space, get whatever, fuck Microsoft you. released a super special collector's edition for Halo 3, they decided to call it the Legendary Edition. With this Good set name. came some extra physical discs of game <clears throat> and video content, along yes. with a cool holder for them all to live in. And yep. the PS de Resistance, a perfect replica of the Master Chief helmet. Well, as perfect a replica helmet can be when it can't fit on your head. See, this was a scaled-down replica. 
and as Do you need to rewatch the Halo 3 reveal trailer? Oh, it's so good. This is the way the world ends. Do 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 do. It was roughly the size of a cat. So good. Spawning. I'm sorry. What? And as reported on OneUp.com, it was roughly the size of a cat's head, spawning many a meme like this one, or perhaps this one. Yeah. I can has someone. I want to say someone did customize it. They took the thing off and like put like padding in it or whatever to make it wearable. I don't really. I mean, you can't see through it anyway. So like, I like all right, you wear it for a second and take a picture, and then you never put it on again. So it never really bothered me. Like, I rather have his helmet, like on my desk. It just the base is just way too big for me to have done that. Energy sword. And also, that's not my favorite Master Chief suit. My my favorite probably is the first one. I like the simpler design personally. That's why I liked Halo Infinite suit. It was like they went simpler. But it, see, I can do it too. But when the Halo 3 Legendary Edition finally came out, many cat-owning Halo fans were denied the chance to make uh, their very own Meowster Chief. The cat-sized uh, helmet wasn't even ho no. hollow. No! Yeah, because it was fucking, yeah. <laughs> there was just a single rectangular slot in the middle. Why? Turns out the helmet was actually just a cover for the Legendary Edition's game disc holder, which was itself just a fancy stand that would be totally hidden once the helmet was placed on top. Very confusing there, yeah. That's a Legendary Edition, all right? Legendarily disappointing. That's pretty good, though, so... Oh, wait, what? Oh, is this the one that never came out? It, wasn't there one that never came out? Or am I thinking of... No, this is it. Oh, this game looks so good. Nine years ago. Looks better than Suicide Squad. Dude, this game looks so good. Does this run in 60 frames at all on consoles? Oh. The Batmobile is undeniably very cool. The design may vary slightly between the comics, movies, and video games it's appeared in, but in general, it tends to be an armored, jet-powered hot rod packed with more gadgetry than a garage sale at James Bond's house. It's no wonder game. that in the movie Batman Forever, Yo, Nicole, Batman asserted so that chicks love the car. Just the car, right? Chicks love the car. Though if we're talking about Batman Forever, that's the me. only thing they loved. They're more yeah. anyone else for that matter. Yeah, Batman Forever is terrible. For Rocksteady's third game in the Arkham series, Batman Arkham Knight, the Batmobile took center stage. I don't understand the love for Batman Forever. I, I hear like comic book fans love that movie. I'm like, really? Because everything's goofy and shitty. Like I, like, I thought like if people hate Batman and Robin, how do you not hate Batman Forever? Like at least Batman and Robin's like really shitty, but fun shitty where I, I feel like batman forever is fucking annoying most of the time like especially fucking tommy lee jones he's so terrible in that movie and you can say oh it's always fucking the other people in batman robin but at least the tone is way way more stupid bullshit that you can at least like enjoy it more where batman forever is trying to do like a mix of the tim burton style and dumb campy dumb comic bullshit i don't know i mean like comic as in like the silly shit and there's a lot of serious stuff, especially Batman. But. A full-sized, open-world, drivable Gotham City for the first time. This newly designed interpretation of the Batmobile was technically only a car 50% of the time. You spend yeah. the other 50% of the a time, tank. Yeah. time zipping around in its ultra-mobile tank form. They really kind of shit the bed with that, because it really was just this. You, you, Oh, there's someone aiming at me? Move to the left. All right, they can't hit me now. Must they should have just made the Batmobile part of, like... Because they kind of did this in uh, Batman Begins, if anybody played that game, where you have, like, these Batmobile segments, but it plays kind of like, if I remember, it plays kind of like Burnout uh, uh, Takedown, Burnout 3 Takedown. Um, and they should have just had segments like that, you know? And also, if you want to use it while you're traversing Gotham, then that's cool. And maybe some side missions use it for whatever, like, I need to use the, the Batmobile to do whatever, I don't know. Alfred, you know, I need it, whatever, fuck. But, like, having it be a tank, it was unnecessary, really. And the Deathstroke stuff was fucking disappointing. What a fucking disappointing ending to that shit was. It was, oh, man. Well, parking, too. To Great celebrate game, the new Batmobile, Warner Brothers announced a $200 collector's edition known as Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile Edition. In it was a statue of the car that was apparently able to transform at the push of a button and, apparently. according to the description, was realized in exquisite detail. You hear? Oh, Triforce, oh, okay. That 
exquisite detail. Exquisite. I don't know if you have malformed Geralt heads around. Fuck you. Here. Yeah, no. yeah, Geralt. <laughs> Fuck out of here. All this sounded brilliant. It continued to sound brilliant right up until five days before the release of the game, at which point Warner Brothers announced that yep. actually, even though the statues were finished, the Batmobile edition was five days. That's big ace was cancelled. They must have already had it cancelled way before that, right? It could have been like five days before and they were like, nah, this shit sucks, fam. They knew like a month ahead and they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't want to cancel pre orders or some shit. They they waited five days. It's probably what gave them the idea for that Batgirl movie. According to WB, the cancellation was because probably. of compromised quality, and fans later speculated that it was the complex transformation sequence that was proving unreliable. Probably. Whatever the reason... The you know what? I'm going to give them credit. Because, you know, we saw f what Fallout, and we saw what even Witcher, and, and so, where they just release things that don't look like in the Marvel... They, they said, all right, you know what? Fuck it. We won't even release it. It's shit. I wish they did it a little earlier than five days before, because that would have been hugely disappointing if I pre-ordered that. I would have been really pissed. Uh, if they did it like a month or so, so before, then I'd be like, all right, well, fuck, that sucks. But, you know, but five days before the game come out, I would have been fucking hyped to pick my copy up. And now, now if they cancel it too, like what? Now you have to hurry and pre-order a copy if, if you can, I'm assuming you could at that time. But Publisher axed the collector's edition, apologized profusely, and gave all players the DLC skins that were originally going to be bundled with it. Okay. The worst bit is, after the Batmobile statue manufacturer Triforce went bankrupt... Oh, uh, no, I didn't know that. A few of these statues ended up on online oh. auction sites, meaning there are YouTube videos out there to give us a glimpse of what we... I mean, it looks really cool. ...have had. What the fuck? That looks awesome. Looks pretty. What the fuck? That looks sweet. Good, actually. I've never seen that before. I know we don't usually rank. What the fuck? That looks awesome. In our list, but I think objectively you can't get much more disappointing than never came out. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> That's bullshit. That looked awesome. <laughs> maybe maybe like after a little while it stopped working, or maybe Warner Brothers. You know what? I mean, I'm take I'm gonna take the credit back. Maybe Warner Brothers just realized how expensive it was and how much they're making. If they produce more, that's probably it actually to make that. It probably would have been way more expensive than they thought. And they weren't either making a lot of money from the collector's editions compared like, I don't know. Yeah, no, probably not. I, I don't fucking know. Whatever. That sucks. Those must be really rare. The ones that people get like that. Those must be expensive. If you can even sell them. Huh? Small but fighty. Yeah. This would have been cool too. having a fucking, um, plasma cutter. That's what it's called. Right. Um, Replica? Oh, man. One of the best guns in... It's not even a gun, but you know what I mean. One of the best weapons in gaming, period. When you're battling necromorphs, you need something pretty substantial to chop off all those pointy limbs. Isaac Clark has the right idea with his signature plasma cutter. Oh, yeah. Originally a piece awesome. of mining equipment, the plasma cutter is love a it. hefty bit of kit with love plenty it. of power to literally Fucking cut down love the it. monsters in Isaac's way. It was revealed by publisher EA that the collector's edition of Dead Space 2 would come with a replica of Isaac's trusty plasma cutter modeled from the new design. Fans were understandably jazzed. Often, these official replicas make excellent props <laughs> for cosplay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Or look cool sitting on a shelf. How yeah, they, they were broke. However, the hype quickly died down. I want to say, did Darkseid Phil do an unboxing for this? I hate Dark Side Phil. I don't like him. All right, I shouldn't say I hate him. I dislike him. Um, it's different. Uh, I want to say he did, and his was like broken or something. Am I right? Hold on, I want to see. Uh, I should not look up du Dead Space to Dark Side Phil because then it would get the racist, uh, Nazi shit that he was doing. Uh, Dead Space Two DSP gaming. Let's see. Yep, that's exactly what fucking popped up dsp gaming's nine year legacy part two blip tv racism <laughs> i'm gonna do unboxing let's see did he not okay hey now he did dead space three yeah there it is. it's broken there it is dsp tries it wait hold on oh i want to get it no don't I don't want to give him a view, but I guess I will. All right, let's just bring, let's go to my history. 
Okay, can, can you? Is this it? Oh my god, why is it? There you go. Here, here you go. Here's DSP, and here's just the thumbnail. Oh my god, I hate, I hate Firefox. Dude, what the fuck? This never happens for any other... Dude, I literally loaded the video perfectly on Google Chrome. I don't have it set up for Google Chrome. Whatever, fuck it. We'll just skip ahead so you can see it. Discs. Here you go. I don't know, why, why am I giving him a view here? It's probably tiny, but... Oh, it is pretty tiny. It's like something else on your body. There you go. One plus. I, here you go. Looking at this thing, if it were a little bit bigger, it would probably be a replica plasma. I mean, to be fair, it's supposed to be pretty small, but yeah, no, it's so, fucking tiny. That's my broken yep, there you go. edition plasma cutter. I'm so fucking glad that I got that. <laughs> yeah, you slam on the ground and break it a little bit more. Oh, yeah, I was watching Coraline video. Here we go. Anyway. When collector's editions sure actually arrived, that, right? and the replica plasma cutters were nowhere near as big as Isaac's. There you go. Plasma cutter. Turns out... Isaac's a oh, fucker. He's packing a goddamn Goliath. The boxes for the collector's edition weren't much bigger than a normal game box. I, to be fair, though, I do actually kind of want this collector's edition. Just because I love Dead Space 2. It's one of the best games, best horror games ever. Cute and, uh... <sighs> I really want a fucking remake of that. I mean, it doesn't need one, but how good Dead Space 1 remake was, and that game didn't need it, but how good that remake was, I'm like, fuck it. Just give me an updated version of Dead Space 2. I don't even give a shit. It doesn't need it, but I'd take it. ...of unhappy customers <laughs> going to Reddit and online forums to show off the actual size of it. <laughs> give it to Mini-Me, bro. The He'll love it. He'll fuck a little, a little Isaac Clark. Give it to your kid! Could not and then dress him like Isaac. Oh, that'd be sick. You got head stomp fuckers. ...be wielded in an adult human hand. It's perfect. To paraphrase Derek Zoolander, what is this? A plasma cutter for ants? The problem was the EA announcement on their site and the images shared online did yeah. not say what scale the replica... To be fair, though, if you just use your brain here and compare the size of the PC case that's and, and, and 360 case and, and just, like, look at a regular DVD case or whatever, 360 PC case, and then look, like, compare it, especially with the perspective here, maybe you should be like, oh, that's probably small then. A plasma cutter would you know be, I mean? despite the fact that the small scale cutter had glowy bits if you put some batteries in it, plenty of people who were looking forward to waving a realistic prop around had to instead make do with a teeny space gun sitting on their shelf. That's not going to save me from any necromorphs. Micromorphs, micromorphs. maybe. <laughs> right. Maybe some micromorphs. Your thing's small. Thanks for joining yeah. us for this video. Oh, about that's the guy that like right in the beginning. Anyway. <laughs> Jack, then John's doing stretches just, just to the right of my eye line. I'm uh, going to keep going. Someone, someone's stretching. John, you keep going as well. Thanks for watching this video about disappointing collector's editions. Um, you like... Oh, John, you're killing me here. You should watch this. Sometimes you screwed your entire play through with a single decision at the... At the what? Uh, at the wrong time? Uh, this video from Why outside... Why is Cyberpunk there? Can you fuck your game up? Extra, <laughs> or this video from outside Xbox. Thanks to Ellen for letting me be on this video. And thanks to you for watching and supporting this channel. If you'd like to support us even more, up to you. Go to patreon.com slash OXclub and join the OX Supporters Club and the official Discord. No. Anyway, no. <laughs> I don't use, I don't use any of that stuff. I don't even think that stuff. Anyway, that was a great video, though. That was really good. I gotta put, lug this heavy piece of shit back up on my thing. There you go. I only got one of those collector's editions. I I had the Marvel's Capcom one, but I got I got rid of that. I have the Chun Li statue still, so technically I have that. And I think I want to say I still have the um the game. Do I? I may have, I may have sold that actually. Thinking about it, I don't know why it did. Why did I sell that? I have a vague memory of selling it. I don't see the steel book anywhere, so yeah, I think I got rid of it. Anyway, whatever. So seven disappointing collector's editions you definitely want a refund for. That was fun. Anyway, that's it. Bye.